last time we got the whole way through uh, most of the future area. And now we're at Protodome. Oh, that's right, I have uh, the Berserk thing on Chrono. I had forgotten. But it's fine, because it's wonderful. I'll probably uh, keep leaving that on for a while. Too. So many buggers. <laughs> Can you do anything? No. Wow. They all resist fire, huh? So are these things designed slightly asymmetrically in looking at camera, or are they just kind of looking off to the side? I've never been able to decide. Let's heal up in this Enertron, because why not? Do 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 do. You look a robot. What's this? It's in bad shape, but it appears to be a humanoid robot. Incredible! He is incredible. Or it. Let me go with E. I'll make sure it won't. Machines aren't capable of evil. Humans make them that way. Door won't budge. I'm gonna give it some juice. Good morning, mistress. What is your command? What's your mistress? I'm Marley. This is Chrono, and this is Luca. Fixed you. Understood, Madame Luca fixed me. Just Luca will do. Impossible, that would be rude. Run! Hey, formal titles. I understand, Luca. Alright, now what's your name? He's R-66Y. Or R66-Y, jeez. My nerd failed. Hey, mouth failed. Hey, yeah, sure. His name's Robo. The Robot. Hey, Robo, why aren't there any people here? They dead. There were many humans and others of my kind in this dome. I think something awful happened here. Came through a time warp from the year 1000. While exploring Aristotle, we learned there was a gate here. We found you when we came looking for the gate. But the door to the inner chamber is locked, so we're out of luck. Power is off. If we go to the factory up north, I can access the security and activate the, this dome's generator. You repair me, now it is my turn to help you. But the generator won't run for long, so someone must stay behind to open the door while the power's on. Uh, leave Marley behind. Because Luca is slightly more useful. Um, can we... He has, uh, he has a super good armor on. Well, for the time. So let's head up to the factory. What is his idle animation? I don't remember. 
And he just powers down and sits there. All right. Take oh. a nap. Yeah, take a little robot nap. Save. Beep boop. Screensaver. <laughs> he turns it on the screensaver. That's really funny. Override security system zero zero. It causes slime to fall from the ceiling. He has heal, right? Yeah. Pure being. It's not as efficient as um Marley's aura, but it's fine. Maybe we can just leave Chrono on auto-murder for a while. Okay. What is it that... Ether? Can't go that way because there's barrels. Can I get to the crane from here? No. Got a robin bow for Marley. Who is not with us at the moment. Anything down here. You can get on the conveyor belt. That's where you get off the conveyor belt, rather. Uh, so I guess we need to go to the other side. These are debuggers. I can't quite kill them in one hit. Lame. Oh, they hurt. I'm gonna have to heal after this fight. Game's so good. Yeah, right. Uh, let's see. Cure Beam. Luca. I could have taken a little more damage before we did that. Oh well. No harm, no foul. Okay, and here's a save. We might as well save. These guys. I like them. Yeah. They want to fight us. Oh well. We'll fight them. Maybe I should have brought Marley. I thought I was going to need the fire damage, but apparently these guys are just physical damage, but little. and alkaline is destroyed. Got rocket roll. Open hatch. Got some more goops. They bubbled at me. We've got like what? Nine, ten health. Hit him for what? 5, 3, and 3, so at most 11. I'm gonna assume 10. That makes sense. Oh, 
Ah, oh, they're just everywhere. And that one is no more. Oh, oh. that one has extra defense. It has about 10 health also. Alright. Ten arm. Turn off these lasers in the middle of the room. Because you know. <laughs> All systems down. Defense lasers are off. Uh, does laser spin work on these? Dark damage, so maybe, or shadow damage, maybe the light will hurt them. No. I heard that one. <laughs> yeah, the green one. I need to destroy the green one as soon as possible. Thank you, Luca, for the crit. There we go, we did it. <laughs> okay, so the laser spin was worthless. We tried. It's a really weak attack overall, but it's an all hit. <laughs> it does shadow damage, so you gotta respect it, at least a little. Robo gets one of the widest ranges of access to elements of any character. <laughs> Not quite the most, but I think second, actually. <laughs> Quite useful. I love Robo, he's great. He's an amazing character. Just look at him. He's yellow and punches. <laughs> he's super metal. Uh, let's get this. Put that on. Uh, we'll put on Luca to bring her back up into line so she doesn't get wrecked by everything. Uh, let's go down. Down is usually the answer. Down is actually the answer. And uh, we're going to go back up and see what's up from here. takes us here. Yeah, we'll save again. Why not? Guess we'll just go down. Let's go. Oh. The corner of the room we were just in. Alright. Got a plasma gun. Cool. Door lock system is zombie operational. Enter password. find the password. Wait. I do remember this. Do the thing. I hit them too fast. Haha! <laughs> Look at me just knowing the password. It's actually a phonetical thing, so it wants you to hit X, A, B, Y to simulate the zombie. Zombie. Yeah. You're supposed to find that out here in the factory, but I don't have time for that. <laughs> Where do you find that out? Uh, I can't remember what room. Somewhere in the factories. 
I think we just haven't been in there yet. Oh no, the doors! Hurry, now! Look at him being strong and awesome. Because he's a robot. So cool. Uh, so here, real quick. Let's heal everybody. And I'm going to switch this to here. Take this off for the rage band. Okay, and we're ready to continue. With my incredible power of having played this game before, <laughs> I can optimize the situation. <laughs> What are you doing? You're defective. You've been tainted. Am I functioning? Affirmative. No defect? Have you forgotten our mission? All intruders must be eliminated. That was my purpose? You shame us. You must be destroyed. And then he just gets wrecked. <laughs> Goodbye, Robo. We hardly knew ye. I do love him. Please stop. Yeah. Robo gets the short end of the story stick a lot. <laughs> Beat him up and shoved him up in a tube. Because <laughs> they're actually the jerks. Now take care of the intruders. So, this is why I switched the uh, rage band off. So, at the very least, I. Not the rage band, the berserk thing. Put the rage band on. So, I can, at the very least, use Cyclone. And also, I have a 50% counterattack rate, so we might as well use it. Go, go, 50% counterattack rate. Thanks for the band. Uh, how are you guys with fire? They resist it, but it still hits everybody. for anything other than attacking. Although I could probably get away with it. Just use Cyclone. Oh, maybe not. I hope I didn't just make a terrible mistake. Okay, they have Luca. Eh. It'll never hit for more than 29, so we're good. Yay! We did it. Robot's defeated. They trashed him. He's in bad shape. I'm not sure if I can fix him. Let's get him back to Protodome. And then we just drag him through this hellscape. No 
trying to save our world. I don't know how far we'll get, but that's the plan. What are you gonna do when you're repaired? What am I gonna do? Yeah, I mean, like, what plans do you have for the future? No one has ever asked me that before. Sad robot sounds. Good morning. I hope I never have to do that again. I've made up my mind. I want to go with you. There's nothing left for me here. Together, maybe we can give this planet of ours a chance. Hang on to your shorts! I love that the gate has trouble closing there. It's amusing. Time travel is very specific. <laughs> it is. Exactly. No more than three. Where are we? This is like the only time you can ever have a line of people more than three. So, enjoy it while you can. <laughs> Robo does not know what to do back there. Can I heal? Gonna save. It won't let me because I have four people. Oh, no, it will. Hello, old man. Oh, more guests. What do you mean, guest? Where are we? Why, this is the end of time. All us travelers in time wind up here. Where are you from? From Guardian Kingdom, circa 1000 AD. I come from 2300 AD. When four or more beings step into a time warp, the conservation of time theorem states that they will turn up at the space-time coordinates of life and least resistance. Here. Yeah. Disturbances in space-time continue have increased recently. Far too many... <laughs> Far too many people, or folks, are just popping in here. I fear something is having a powerful effect on the very fabric of time. Which means one of us has to remain here. Stay here alone? It's pretty bleak here, but don't worry. All the time periods connect here. You can visit your friends whenever you wish, but you can never travel in groups greater than three. So one must stay. Who will it be? See you, Marley! I like you. Would you rather me take her than Luca? No, I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't like either of them. <laughs> I like the last one. Okay, matter. there you go. It doesn't matter, you're doing it. Do whatever you want. You don't like either of them, you're gonna get rid of her eventually. Exactly, but so, might as well whatever, take the one you like. Yeah, it's fine, we're fine. I'm gonna give Robo his suit back. Because he deserves it. Uh, actually, I do need Luca in the party for a moment, but, hey. Don't be in such a rush. Take a peek in that room behind me. Okay, we're gonna put Luca in the party. Because Robo has nothing to gain from this room back here. What are you looking at? I'm Specchio, the Master of War. I've seen all kinds of battles from here. How do I look to you guys? Weak. I see. Let's put it this way. If you're strong, I look strong. If you're weak, I look weak. You're strong of will. When all, that's why the old one let you through. Long before you were born, there was a kingdom where magic flourished. Everyone there could use it. But in time, people began to abuse their powers. It got so bad that no one was allowed to, to use magic except wizards. But you have it. Determination, I mean. Magic needs power of heart. It needs inner strength. Magic is divided into four types. Lightning, fire, water, and shadow. You with the punk hairdo, you're lightning. The one with the ponytail is water. The one with the goofy glasses is fire. Not just magic, but everything is based on the balance of these four powers. Take magic and start walking from the door, walk clockwise along the walls of my room three times. Okay. One. Da -hoo. Th 
three. Hey, pal. Very good. Ipso facto minimo magico. Now we got the magic. Marley got the magic. Luca got the magic. Now I'm good. Okay, so the reason I didn't take Robo in there is because he doesn't get magic. Uh, since he is not strictly a living thing, he doesn't have the ability. But, he gets lasers and stuff, and they work. Works similarly. Um, I think I need to go to this one. Yeah. Come out of these imps uh, cabinet. Hey guys. People just come out of the closet. Get out of here. Who do you think you are? Coming and going from our closet at all hours. Scram! Wait a sec. Medina Village was founded by the ancestors of the mystics. Who lost the war to human beings? Most mystics hold a grudge against humans. Be careful. There's an odd man who lives in near the mountains to the west. You might enjoy chat with him. Why are you being so kind? The mystics supposedly despise humans. I once fought the mystics over 400 years ago. My motto is forgive and forget, but not many seem to agree with me. Okay, see you guys. You're nice. From where does this eerie chanting originate? These guys up here celebrating this dude up here. Who we know to be Magus. Or Magus. But Magus Marcus. sounds better. Uh, we can buy stuff at the market here, but they really overcharge us because we're humans and they don't like us. Uh, so... Oh, I guess I should do this. Because we'll change things eventually and this just won't be as funny. Or, well, not as funny, but like you won't understand why this is funny later. I'm Ozzy the Eighth, Medina Village's leader. leader. My ancestors served the great Magus. Oh, great Magus, why didn't you simply exterminate the human race 400 years ago? It's Ozzy the Eighth. I'm gonna take this magic tab. Uh, and I'm gonna use it on Chrono because, uh, it doesn't really do much for Robo. <laughs> so his magic power is ever so slightly better now. Okay, and off to the old man by the mountain. Oh, look at that, it's the dude from the fair. Uh, hello, can I interest you in a weapon? Yes, I would like to buy a weapon. Um, specifically, I would like to buy armor and the red katana. Oh, I can't buy both, dang it. Um, I guess we're gonna sell some crap. Don't need to hold on to weapons. Weapons. If there weren't evil in this world, there would be no need for weapons. Sad state of affairs. Yep. See ya. If you desire to return to Truce Village, use the shortcut through the cave in the mountains to the north. Thank you. We will do that. Oh yeah, I can change the box. Where is that? Let's 
go with this. It's ugly and terrible. Nah, uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, the shuffle shuffle. I actually kind of hate this. I'm going to change it to something else afterward. <laughs> Okay, moving on. I'm not going to put the Berserk thing back on Chrono just yet. Because enemies in here tend to require to be hit by magic. Because, you know, they just gave it to us. Why wouldn't they just force us to use it? <laughs> I think all that one's something. Yeah, it's a little This is back there. It's a gin bottle. I love the sound of his lasers. So like I said, it's an all hit, and sometimes that's incredibly helpful. I guess I could have just held his, because I didn't want to use anything. There we go. Take uh, it down. I think I have to. Got a mid ether. I can go over here. Mm, don't remember which way I have to go. Against these guys, I'll just have Robo Spin. Unfortunately, a big waste. Or, they're all pretty close to dead. Maybe I can just hit them all. This took a little longer than I needed to. But oh well. I have to have Marley heal herself. This is the way we have to go. What's down here? Is it? No, this is a treasure room, I think. Yep. Really, police. everyone else, they're resistant to physical damage and must be damaged with magic. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. 
We're pretty great. We're pretty happy to just that you can't do the magic on them. I love them. We all know that they have eaten little pointy ears because we've seen their cousins, the Rollies. <laughs> Oh, bats. Do I have to hit you with magic, too? They're cave bats. Yup. How about laser spin? Is that enough? We're gonna use laser spin again. Otherwise, it was a total waste. Maybe we should have brought Luca for this. Because I'm sure her uh, spells will do a little more damage. But oh well. And do what You're I like want. Here. Got a magic scarf. Nope. I mean, I could switch to Luca if I wanted to at any given time. But now nah, we'll stick. We'll keep Robo here because this is how I always do it. I like him. He's good. <laughs> Treasure. Got an ether? I'm glad that they're giving us a lot of ethers here. Or ethers, however you want to pronounce it. Go ether. Oh, more of these guys! Stand around here, I guess. He doesn't have anything else going on. One more to go. Zap, zap. I guess ice. Ice. Whatever sound ice makes. Vanilla ice ice baby. Oh, it's like a custard and I don't know. It doesn't look vanilla. If anything, it was berry. Because it's blue. I'm just gonna keep zapping these guys. We're gonna run out of MP. Though I think we're gonna run up on a um, save point soon. So, we can use a shelter there. Hard one damage. Three. Ooh. I have no idea why these regular bats are just so resistant to physical damage. Also, how do you put a robot to sleep? Uh, you sleep. I saw that coming. You asked. I guess. We're all gonna die. There's a jar there that I don't want to fight. Remember that this is here. We'll come back for it eventually. I like that we're just walking through this water. And it's totally fine. 
there anything hidden out here? Do I even care? No. Just the save point up here. So, this is one of these shelters that we got out of that guy in the forest. And save. Here we go, the next boss. Death to the Mystic's enemies. It's the Hecarin. He's on the sticker for the game. And the the box for the game. However, we've been fighting him in the snow for some reason, and uh, Marley's got fire on the box, so you know, I don't know. But this is the guy from the cover. I have to assume that the cover art was drawn way before the spells were finalized. If you attack him normally, he counterattacks. So you just gotta use magic. However, he doesn't counterattack, counterattack, so that's free 7 damage. Yay! looks to the left and right, he looks like the worst walrus. That's a distinct possibility, Jay, I lost. It could have been the Hellion, but that sounds worse. Actually, it's probably like the Hellion or something, which makes more sense. But yeah, I mean, I, I enjoy Hecarim. Either way, it's amusing. Uh, horse. A horsey, horsey death. But yeah, it looks like the worst walrus whenever it looks to the left and right. Whenever it looks to the camera, you can tell what's going on, but... There. <laughs> Ooh, he's doing big damage. So... Marley and Robo come up, we're gonna do a big deal. Because they're allowed to do this. Yeah. Yes, it's indeed. Okay. Yes, indeed. No, I'm good. So, Marley heal Robo. Highlighted on lightning till he's ready. Because I leave active battle on. Because I'm cool like that. I thought he was in the counterattack break mode. Oh, he is. He's just standing there in counterattack stance for no reason. Thanks, guy. Should be dying very soon. Might use Marley and Robo to heal everybody again. Definitely going to. I'm not sure why he's stuck in his counterattack animation. That was weird. I think I might save Robo's turns in case we need to heal more. 
because we're running low on MP on him, and I don't feel like using any healing items. Counter-attack break. Yes. I guess it only needs two for him for our being laser spin. Let's go. There he goes. He dead. Only the great Magus, who fought or brought forth Lavos 400 years ago, destroyed the human race. The world would belong to us mystics. Grr. Yeah, thanks for just that exposition for no reason. In the Middle Ages, Magus created Lavos, who's responsible for destroying the planet's future. If we go to the Middle Ages and destroy Magus, can we change history? Hey, Chrono, we could use the gate at the fairgrounds. Yes, yes, we can. Yeah, let's just go mess with the pants. It's fine. It's totally fine. I thought you were executed. <laughs> I'm fine. See ya. That's a normal interaction between mother and child. Yep. I'm gonna stay at the inn. The Magus battle music is amazing, but it's not going to be for a bit. We got some other stuff to clear up first. I already won my court case. I'm going to eat your lunch now. Ah! <laughs> There's nothing he can do about it. Okay, we're back here. So let's save and head on out. We need to go to... No. Truce Canyon. Yep. Crappy guys show up to fight us, no matter what. They're imp aces. You guys can keep torturing that dude, I don't care. Wonderful, wonderful 600 AD music. Again, this is my favorite piece in the game. It is just beautiful. So I walk around for a second to listen to it. The rations have run out. The supplies from Guardia Castle arrived yet? No, they haven't, but I needed to talk to you to... You, me getting them. At least I think I need to talk to him first. Okay, let's just sneak on through here. Stay against the bottom. Get this. Same deal here. Hug the right. Ta da! 
Also, who goes there? That's oh, you. Yep, it's me. This isn't the kitchen. It's on the other side. Maybe I should go talk to the king first. Maybe he'll have some sage advice for me. Nope. Hey, Chancellor, what up? Okay, legendary hero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fights in the forest. You calling me a cheater for knowing things? Shh. I just know stuff. It's fine. No, totally so fine. Do. Hey, pal. What? My brother? He's... That's what you get for thinking you're the one that's fighting for our country. Stop bickering. Grow up. Pipe down. What do you know? And he keeps cooking. So then I try to leave, and he's like, hey, wait, no, stop. <laughs> Take this with you. I got one jerky. This is for you guys. Take it, will ya? Got one power tab. Tell that fool you better come back alive. Um, power tab. I guess I'll use it on a robo. And time to go back through the forest. There's a whole lot of places in this game where you can just totally avoid fights if you know where to walk. Considering that everything is scripted instead of random, you just gotta know where to go. Hey buddy, I got some jerky for you. Everybody's dying, but there you go. If I do not make it back, give my brother my thanks. Shit's going down on the bridge. Because his troops have launched an attack, they're breaking through our defenses. Stop sniveling. It shames the knights of the square table. Oh. I like the square table. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, we never went and visited them to find out about it. Your troops are suffering greatly. Yeah, I'll assist you. For the gold helm. I will wear it on my head. Actually, I'll probably put it on. Oh. Yeah, my defense is lower than Robo's. There we go. Uh, if only it played the battle at the big bridge on this. That's like one of the best songs in Squaresoft the library entirely. Final Fantasy V is my favorite Final Fantasy, by the way, just to throw that out there. Oh, uh, I gotta fight some Deceased and Ozzy. There we go. So, fun fact that literally everybody knows about Chrono Trigger, but I'm gonna absolutely reiterate, because, you know, whatever, I have nothing else to say. Ozzy here is named after the musician Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> yeah. Would you have known that had I not said it? Probably not. I probably guess Ozzy I guess. There are two related characters that we'll run into later that are similarly named after famous musicians. <laughs> that I'm sure you'll pick up on because they are a lot harder to miss. <laughs> And in uh, Japanese, they're actually named after condiments instead of musicians. They're mayonnaise, uh, vinegar, and That's funny. ketchup, I think, is the third one. Left well, it's because it's Akira Toriyama names everybody after food. That's funny. <laughs> this is what he does. Let's smack Ozzy. 
I want to see if, um, laser spin will do enough here, because I, I doubt it will, so we're just going to go ahead and do this. I mean, I'll use it just to know. Nope, they heal from it. I suspected that. They are undead. And the lasers are shadow. Yeah, you know. What food is Robo named after? I actually don't know what his original Japanese name was, but there's a distinct possibility that he wasn't, because I don't think Akira Toriyama was allowed to name everybody. <laughs> Just some. Ozzy needs help. Uh, let's heal. That's it. Now you're finished. You cannot win. You would best surrender. But that's, that, that guy's why I stopped in at the mayor's house in uh, the village, related to him. <laughs> yeah. This is Zombor. Uh, we only need to kill the top half. I like that its pelvis has eyes, by the way. You know, this thing is effective character, uh, yeah, I guess character design. It's really cool, overall. It's a cyclops with eye pelvis. It goes really good. And we're just gonna keep attacking. This thing's also shown during the opening sequence, with everybody having 800 health, <laughs> for whatever reason. Pea Buster, steal them Pea. Well, he can't cast spells anymore. It died. And if memory serves, the legs just die on their own here, because they have no body. Cast ice on it and see what happens. Maybe I needed to kill the legs first and the, the torso would die on its own. Why did I did that backwards? <laughs> nope, it heals for magic. Lame. Doom, 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 doom. Uh, rocket punch. Bonk. I can actually... Oh, I can't, because Chrono's out of MP. I was going to say I could use the uh, dual tech that they have, but... No dice. Whoa! It just one-shot Robo. Well, what a cool enemy. Um, legs gotcha. It was full, from full health to death. It did exactly his maximum health. I guess after it says doom doom doom, it dooms you. It's gotta be pretty close to dead. Please attack Chrono with things. <laughs> Does 
some counterattacks. Warbeam. Hey, he doesn't have any MP left. Oh, it's coming to murder somebody. I think it's Chrono. Oh wait, it turned around. Dead. We did it. We murdered the skeletons. Hey, you didn't die. You can go back and tell your brother you didn't die. Is the light coming from two different sources? No, okay. Kind of. Weird. Okay, and this is... what village is this? Dorino. This place doesn't exist in modern times. I want you to find the mythical rainbow shop. There's some front money, we're counting on you, Toma. Ain't no problem. Cause like, I'm the mythical explorer. Good match, Aisha. Or Chief, rather. Okay, see you, Toma. They misspelled Dorito. That's funny. Use the rainbow shell to make some reflective armor. It'll be strong against magic. The guy's a little flaky. It's San Dorino Village, I guess, actually. Yep. Uh, there's something specific I need to do here. Is it you? Is it true the king was injured? It's locked. Mom said I can't play outside because of the monsters. I'm so bored. Yeah, it's the Nogad Bromite I've got. I'll trade you something good for it. Yeah, let's trade. You can have that thing that I found. I got a magic tab. So yeah, that one thing that I found in a drawer in the uh, cathedral earlier. Turn around for a magic tab. Not too bad, right? Okay, let us sleep here. Hey, Tama. I like talking to you every time. Yeah, sure. Some creepy, dangerous frogs are taking over the southern woods. Tom is helpful. If you don't know what you're doing, he can give you information as you need it. Specifically in, you know, 600 AD. But <laughs> it's still helpful. Okay, so dangerous frogs in the woods, huh? I also need to stop in a specific house here. Tata's house. My son's a legendary hero. He must have been all that oatmeal. I'm <laughs> thinking his father. Yeah, oatmeal. Exactly. My grandson's a brave hero. That's from my side of the family. I guess he's not here. Do you have to go to the bar here, maybe? The cafe? No, but uh, Tom is here, too. No, you can have a soda. Break down the rainbow shell, the chief one. It's on some small island. Only thing is, I don't know which island. The money you gave me is gone. What should I do? You spent that money real fast, dude. It's gone. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. It's just gone. It's the elder's house. I need to go buy something in the present before I come back here, but it's of no real consequence. <laughs> so let's go to the Cursed Woods. This chest. This. An 
past these frogs. Down here. I'm gonna take this. And I'm gonna attempt to touch that and... Oh look, it's our friend! Tis thee, Chrono. Thou art here to practice thy skill in swordplay? I ribbit. He ribbits really fast. He does. He's hyperventilating. What? The king has been injured? I see. Let me stand specifically in front of this basket so you cannot open it. Tis nary a thing I canst do. Please be on thy way. The hero I am not. I can do not. I love that line. Long. Why does he speak like this? I Why don't does understand. Why so long? Because he has two friends. Just three chairs, it bothers me. Okay, he's a sad, sad boy over here. And I cannot get to that basket specifically for reasons. But let's see if I can get back out of here without running into any enemies. The bottom here is a little tougher than the rest because they move a little weird. Now I gotta find the person that I'm looking for. Or do I just need to go to the mountain? Oh, power tab. Do you have anything of use, sir? Gold suits. Buy three of those. And a beret. And I might as well do the equipping through here. Gold suit. Gold suit. Because gold is somehow stronger than titanium. You know. <laughs> I'll save here. Singing Mountain. Found 300. I'm trying to decide if I want Luca here or not. Very specifically, because there's some enemies with wooden hammers that she can burn the hammers off of. Uh, I understand why you would want equip to optimum, like, it, it's convenient, but in Chrono Trigger that's actually probably not the best, because some of the better accessories actually give you zero stat value. It's just the other bonuses they give can't be quantified in direct numbers. But for, I guess, regular equipment that would work. That's who I wanted to see. This is a terrible place. You best run away while you can. So these guys here, if you hit them with fire attacks, they'll drop their hammers. Uh, otherwise, they're resistant to regular damage. Maybe they're resistant to everything. Nope, they're just resistant to regular damage. So I'm probably gonna switch Marley for Luca for most of this adventure. Save myself some trouble. And we'll change some equipment.
Okay, that's where we want to be. Can I use Marley's spells to heal us, even though she's not in the main party? No. So we're going to be stuck with Cure Beams, or those, like, 90 tonics that I bought. Let's use some of those. <laughs> Yeah, they use the Specchio music for the, uh, any quirky moment. I like it. Gotta revive. Got an ether. That guy's just having a snooze, that's fine. Whenever you hit them with fire, they get really sad about life and drop their hammer and go from being ogans to regular goblins. What dual tech did they just learn? No, something with Luca. Fire punch. Nice. Nice try. Nope. So long. <laughs> uh, I do that a lot. Because <laughs> like I mentioned before, the, the level curve in this is pretty fair, so I don't really worry too, too much about missing battles. And it saves on my sanity. Guy's ready for anything now with his 90 defense. Jerk, you threw a rock at that guy. Why would you do that? Gone to that treasure chest room over there somewhere. Probably coulda. Yes, right here. Mid ether. This music's fun. You don't get to hear it often enough. Let's keep using these tonics. We've outgrown their um, combat usefulness, since enemies tend to do near 50 damage now. Get you. you got me. Get you. <laughs> I don't even know what that does. It took a little bit of damage. Six, I think, per person. No, maybe it did nothing. I don't know. Hello, Birdman. Yeah, they counterattack. 
Uh, I'll let you guys do the fire punch. That sounds fun. I like the sound that makes. Six hundred gold. I think this is the only time this background is used the entire game, other than one of the endings using it. This game has like 13 or so different endings. There's so much going on in this game. It really is a masterpiece. Like, people hype this game up a lot, and it's really all, like, do hype. It's not like Final Fantasy VII, and I'm sure I'm gonna get some shit for this. Where there's so much hype that the game just can't live up to it. Like, Seven's a good game, but it's nowhere near as good as people say it is. Chrono Trigger is every bit as good as the hype. I know what you're talking about, but I don't know if it does use this background or not. I can't remember. I guess we'll see. Slash, so let's throw that. Oh, they won't counterattack because they're dead. Now we'll use some tonic back in this fight. Cup in 44, Robo Tackle in 21, Napalm in a lot, and Cure in a lot. Okay. You only get tech points while you're in the combat party, but you get experience points no matter what. So, dang it, Bellbird. So, Marley's not gonna fall behind in levels, but she is gonna fall behind in skills. Stud. This is one of the um, accessories that I was talking about earlier that can't really be quantified. Silver Stud cu cuts the MP costs of everything in half. So, we'll put that on Robo. So now his skills are cheaper. Unfortunately, we're now here. Ooh, a silver earring as well. This does something very similar, actually. 
Oh no, it does the health increase. Uh, I don't think we need to worry about that for now. Yeah, probably good. good that drops you off back rodeo. here. This is not my first rodeo. Um, I have to fight these guys again. But whatever. Definitely move the um, silver stud to somebody else in the leader. Uh, but for now, it's fine on Robo. It cuts his healing costs down a little bit. You can keep doing that, buddy. I don't really care. I think he comes down and fights us anyway here, but yeah. <laughs> Mountains are nice. They sure are. Uh, we will use a shelter here. before. Yeah, I'd rather have Marley here. You were right about the background and the... He's not really a sheep, but yeah, you were right. Tata and the Frog is now our save name. Take the stuff off of it. No, we're not at the... Oh, yeah, we are at the boss. Because you can't backtrack. And I will safely walk through here. Dang it. Oh, well. <laughs> I forgot that he did that. There's only one other scene that I, I can think of that has a mountain backdrop like that, and I really do not want to spoil that, because that is a nice part in one of the endings. <laughs> I don't remember if it's the basic ending or not. So here is the boss fight. I'm going to pop off everybody's health. Uh, I think this is one of the harder bosses in the game. Um, just going to throw that out there. Here for the mass immune? Yeah, I guess. No one told me about it, but I'm here. Thought so. Wait a second. Oh, big brother. Where are you, Masa? What is it, Mune? Or Mune? I don't really know how to pronounce that, but I'm, I go with Masa Mune, so they're Masa and Mune. Not again. So you want to get a name for yourself by grabbing the Masa Mune. What a buffoon. Humans are so silly. It's how you use the sword that's important, not who owns it. You can't even understand something as simple as that. Why are you human? That's why you're human, rather. What should we do? 
the usual. Test them. They can entertain us for a while. Alright, here we go. Whoosh. I like these two. They're fun. about with ice thing. No. We'll just destroy this guy. Now, they have a dual tech also. <laughs> it's fine that they hit Robo, I don't really care. He is very resilient. You guys not counter lightning. Nope, you counter everything. But that's fine. We're gonna burn one of you down real fast and then just go from there. Part. Also, I mean, you're powerless. Yay, maybe this is easier than I remember, and everything that is difficult is me just being a dumb kid. And having not played this in years, I don't remember how easy things are sometimes. <laughs> what should we do? I know, I love them. They're great. This time it's for real. Alright, this is it. Yeah, we mean business. And then they do the fusion dance. <laughs> and... Form of bucket of water. To become one. No, form of this guy. <laughs> He's got very small legs. He has skipped every leg day for an eternity. Holy <laughs> arms uh, mm -hmm. Chop a tornado into existence, though. Yeah, this show is Robo and Marley. <laughs> Storing tornado energy. <laughs> for this next turn. Pain. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna leave Chrono down, I think. Eh, now I'll get him back up. So we need to be much higher health than that. Revive Chrono. Have him heal Marley. Have him mid tonic himself. These two can aura beam again. There we go.
That's how we're gonna handle this deal. <laughs> Well, I figured you were going to use your attack before I healed, so this was a total waste of a turn. Oops. I should have waited. Down. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'm gonna revive her. Robo heal Chrono. We are on the back foot here, and I do not like that. He's gonna get counter attack, but that's okay because we can heal with these two. Should be enough to keep everybody up. There we go. Crits and that is helping us a lot. There we go. Robo with the crit to finish it out. Beautiful. Beat us, big brother. That was fun. Will they fix us? Will they find us an owner? Yeah, it'll be alright. You guys can go back to being a sword now. <laughs> so, for this scene here, uh,. Robo and Luca have different dialogue depending on which one you have in the party, and I don't know which one takes precedence. So, you know, if you have them both, one of them will talk about this sword. Because they're the smart people. <laughs> you got the broken mass immune. Yeah. Maybe better. Allow me. We'll ride the wind to the base of the mountain. Good luck to you. And then we just plop out of the mountain. Where's Tata's house? This one. I'm sorry everybody, some frog guy dropped this in a cafe. I thought it'd sell and I almost started calling me a hero. Couldn't bear to get rid of it. I just can't fake it any longer. I'm no hero. I'm so ashamed. Here, please take it. I got... Scoundrel, I knew it was all a sham. How could I fall for that? For my dear departed wife's sake, I vow to keep my feet on the ground. Oh yeah, I had a power tab. Uh... We got the bent sword. And we got the hero medal, which ups the critical hit rate of mass immune, which we don't have currently, we just have a part of it. 
so let's go see our good friend Frog. Maybe he'll know what to do with it. Let's run past all these frogs. Oh, a new! Mm. Hey, Frogo. He hath returned. The hero medal. Aye, then thou hast seen the lad. Yet nary a thing canst do, or rather, yet nary, yeah. Yet there's nary a thing I canst do against Magus. The legendary mouse immune is required to fight Magus, and I have no right to wield it. Please leave now. Gasp. It's the hilt. A broken sword, part of the mass immune. Something's written in archaic script. I will translate. Yeah, so either um, Luca or Robo deal with this. Roy Clam. Roy Clam? System error, I reversed it. It says Melchior. Melchior, the guy in Medina Village? What does it mean? Bum 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 bum. So the guy in 1000 AD's name is written on a sword in 600 AD. How curious. How could that ever be possible? Not birds this time, but a poly and a green egg. And back to the end of time. We're gonna take a quick detour, and then go talk to Melchior. But, quick detour first. I'm gonna take a quick stroll, and buy something that is totally innocuous for very, very unclear reasons until way later in the game where it's like the linchpin of a side quest. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk the whole way down here. Poor a village. We're gonna go see the mayor. He's this guy. Huh, I run this town. I'm so rich I don't know what to do with it all. Give me 10G if you act like a chicken. I will do it. Here you go, 10 gold. He does give you 10 gold every time you do it. So you could grind for money that way if you want. But, we need to go to the snail shop. The snail shop. Thank you, Windows Alert, for making noise. I appreciate you. I've got the best jerky in town, but I'm saving it. I'll let some go for like 9,900 gold. Yeah. Give me that jerky. So that was most of our money, but we need that jerky. We, we need it. <laughs> Next time we go back to 600 AD, we will absolutely be giving that jerky to the ancestors of that mayor to make him not a shitty person in the future.
Teaching them the value of, like, being nice and stuff. <laughs> but, we'll deal with that in a bit. Because I don't feel like going the whole way back through Truce Canyon right now. To Medina Village. Actually, before I go to Medina Village, let's talk to this bucket and heal. Thank you, Brad Phillips, for the follow. I really appreciate it. So let's go see Melchior. So what's up, old man? Why's the sword from 400 years in the past got your name on it? <laughs> sword? It's the Massimune. How'd you get it? Mm. Why would your name be on that sword? I just found it. Yeah, it was just in the dirt. I love this music. <laughs> Swords are cool. This song is also really good. It's a long story. Swords are cool. <sighs> you want to hear the story, right? <laughs> yes. Tell us about the mass immune. Tell me more, tell me more, like if you have a car. We can fix it if we can get some ha our hands on some dreamstone, which the sword is made of. Can't find it anymore. It was a red stone that was once used as money. Unfortunately, it's been hasn't been available for a very long time. That doesn't matter. I doubt you'll ever find it, but if you bring some, I'll fix the Masamune. I'll find it, because we're the best. Yeah, I'm just gonna go find that. Hold on. Keep your pants on, old man. Hey guys, I need your cupboard. See ya. I love how non polluce they are about it now. <laughs> they just don't care. <laughs> Mystic Mountain, 65 million BC. Oh no! Lizardman. I like that one in the middle just shimmying across the screen. Just look at him go. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. No likely call. Oh, they've noticed me. Um. Cyclone. Does this AoE? No. Uh, laser spin. I think they're weak to magic. Yeah, they are. Oh, uh, that's all we needed to do. Thanks, Robo, for being great. Got a pedal. Lord Spin Cut. Lord Max Cyclone. Lord Ice Sword. Ah, the Lizardmen. They're back. What should we do? And in the PlayStation version of this and DS version, there's a really cool cutscene here. Where Isla shows up and beats the crap out of these guys. But instead we have this where she just comes in and kicks them. This is fine though. Their fighting capabilities are far or far exceed those of humans. I like I do too. Hey Robo, how about you just spin around a few times? You did it. Yeah, we did it.
What do you want? Do not upset her. She's rather agitated right now. Great. Heck. You strong. What name? Chrono, huh? Good name. Me? Me. Hello. For some reason, she speaks English. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's cool. Yeah, I, lo I like strong people, so I like Chrono. Get, her, get away from her, Chrono. You strong too. Isla respects strong men and women. You different, but strong too. It's because I'm a robot. A raw boot? <laughs> what that? Isla don't know. <laughs> A machine that looks like a man. What you say, no rubbish, or I'll head go boom. She's great. Chrono, where from? How can we explain? It's beyond her grasp. They're for many days ahead of tomorrow. <laughs> you funny. I really like funny people. Come to village. We talk, eat, and eat. Dance, eat, fun. Thank you, we can't. We're looking for a dream stone. Stone? Plenty stones. Here, there, at village, you take plenty. Come to Ioka Village. Got a Berserker. Is that two of those we have now? Oh, it is. We can go hard. <laughs> Too bad the enemies here need electric, specifically, for damage sources. Uh, I thought I could avoid them. Oh well. Laser these dinosaurs for me. It's possible that they just die to some lasering. Blazor and Blazor. Yeah, the village does, or the party does have amazing music. I actually really like the overall music in this uh, era as well. The drums are great. I mean, I guess it's all drums, for the most part. You guys can't have too much health left, right? Just use the ice. You can get past them without running into them. They're kill wallows. You guys walk around this rock. <laughs> uh, this is such an earworm. Intensive <laughs> scales go blood and hard to beat. Drink sweet water, grow strong when drink. Okay, to the chief's hut. Good, Chrono come. Night soon, and ready for party. I was the chief. Listen, all new friends here. Strong man, Chrono. Friends of Chrono, Robo and Marley. Should have brought Luca instead of Robo. She's more fun dialogue wise here. This is no time to celebrate. 
Far Cry, let's party. Ooga Booga, or Ooga Bunga Munga Meeple. Dance with the Wind People. Ooga Bunga Munga Might, singing and dance all night. These guys have such a great song. Hey buddy, you outsiders. But I like a party, why? Because we're cooler than you, Kino. This is fantastic. I want to dance too. Marley has a good time. Unpleasant substance, and with so many bugs in it. Alright, Crony, try Jurassic Pork Soup. Good stuff. Alephite Reptites, their leader is Zala, very smart. Well, an Ioka village fight. No fight? Go to Luruba village. Don't know where village is, always hide. Zala want to destroy Ioka and Luruba. But Isla no lose. Only when Isla dead give up. Enough. Hey, Chrono today. Eat day. Good day. Eat, party, sing, dance. I would like to end the party, please. Look for Red Rock. Rare Red Rock, sign of power. Isla's strongest on Ioka village, so Isla's rock. You want to challenge Isla? You win, Isla give to you. Challenge Isla? Absolutely. Bring plenty soup. Okay, so hopefully the microphone doesn't pick this up too much, but I need to mash the crap out of the A button here. So. Hopefully it does pick it up. Yeah. He's mashing. I thought it vibrating. Gotta eat the soup faster. You can do it. <sighs> okay, I win at soup. Maybe eat too much. So the the soda drinking mini game is to prepare you for that. That's funny. <laughs> Good morning. That seems soup seems to affect humans. It's an alcoholic soup. <laughs> Who made these footprints? It's gone. Oh no, the gate key is gone. Whoever left these prints took the gate key. It's too risky to use the gate key with gate without it. Hi, Isla. Too much soup. Sleep like stone. You sleep like stone. We let you sleep, but a valuable item has been stolen. What? It must be reptiles. We're gonna come with Isla. We settle the reptiles. Settle the reptiles. Who else come? Uh, I'm gonna take Robo with me. Because he's my boy. Someone from Village C, we ask. Go. I'm not sure where Marley went, but she's not with us right now. That's why Turbo exists on controllers? No. You just gotta mash hard. Okay. What do you guys got going on? We saw reptiles came from meeting site, went south to forest maze. Thank you. Okay, so, I think this is where I'm going to stop for the evening, uh, and I'm probably going to off-stream go to the hunting site here and the grind for some petals and um, horns and stuff so I can buy the equipment here. Uh, I figured you probably wouldn't want me to, or want to watch me grind for currency, because that's everybody's favorite thing in the universe. <laughs> 